Hey everybody, Richard here. How are you going? I've had two talks today with two salon owners that had similar problems to this, so I thought I'd do an Ask I Salon Coaching on this subject. Um, someone wanted to know to, to how to attract new clients, which, hey, I know I'm doing a video on the moment, but that's not the reason I'm doing this. But it's also the fact is that one of them wanted to know really how to grow their salon. The second one wants to know what sort of advert should I put out there and grow there. Now, the thing is, I just want to make sure that everyone gets this straight before we move on. It's nice and easy. And this is what I'm going to do through here, clients. Now, everything in your salon is to do with clients, okay? It starts with clients. It is sustained with clients and your salon ends with clients. It's as simple as that. So without clients, literally, okay, you have nothing, absolutely nothing at all. And if you don't have the power to attract clients as best as you can, you are really going to struggle to do that and you have nothing through there. So everything starts with clients. It starts with when you set up your salon, your big why you did that. Why did you get out of bed every morning and start looking after clients? Who is your ideal client? Who do you want to look after? How do you attract them? How do you find them? Where do they hang out? It all starts with clients. Your salon is sustained with clients. Because once you have a client, you have to have systems in place. We've talked about systems many times before. You have to build a system that is geared around your ideal client. As they come in, as you've attracted your clients to come to the salon, they have a predestined idea of what they're going to get when they walk through the door. So you sustain them. You have to give them. It's time for you to, you know, walk the walk as such. If you're attracting them, you're talking the talk, hopefully, and building up some, some credibility. But then you've got to prove that you can do what you do. And it ends with clients as well. So everything in your salon life really is geared around clients. Now, the one thing I want to bring into here, over this side over here, you'll see that I've done one very, very similar to this only yesterday. Your dream, okay? What is it that you actually want? What, what power do you want? When I'm talking about a dream, I'm talking about... Um, do you want a boat? Do you want a car? Do you want a second house? Do you want to go traveling around the world? What do you want your salon to give you? Okay, so your salon will provide you with any dream that you want. You just have to attract more clients. And the more clients you get, simple, because more clients equals, let's go through here, equals more money. It's as simple as that. So when I say that your salon really starts, sustains and ends with clients, I can't think of anything else in your salon. And I've been racking my brain today trying to figure it out that clients are so, so important to your dream that your salon is going to provide for you. And if you know how to attract these clients and you know how to keep these clients, there is a really good chance that your salon will give you the dream. It's as simple as that. That's what will happen to you. And I can't think of anything else that actually starts, sustained, and ends with clients. So, for example, let's talk about your dream. Let's say you want to travel the world. Now, that's going to cost you money is one thing. You also need to earn enough money to pay staff to look after your clients while you're not there. So what tends to happen is everything in your salon, everything is all about sales, money in the till. And that all comes from clients. So about how big you want your salon to be or how many salons you want, you've got to know how to attract them, how to keep them, and how to keep them for as long as you possibly can. Everything starts with a client sustained with the client once you start your business and you're new you need as many clients as possible to get yourself up to that level and then as your business grows and it gets a bit more mature your salon is sustained by being able to attract more new clients than clients that you're losing it's as simple as that if you could close the door at the back end and didn't lose any clients you wouldn't need any new ones 
you know what your salon's turning over, you know you're looking after them, and everything's sweet. But in the world we live in, people die, people move away, people move jobs, and they want to have their head near where they work. So there's plenty of reasons why you're losing a client. And to be really honest, we all have bad days, and your staff have bad days. And some of your systems aren't as good as you think they are. So you will be losing clients. On average, it's about 20% that you tend to lose. So you need to gain more new clients just to sustain the life you've got now. If you want to grow your life, you've got to attract more clients than you're losing. Just a simple maths. So everything, everything that you do, the house you live in, the car you drive, the shoes you buy, the mobile phone you hold in your hand, Everything that you've got is sustained by how many clients are coming through your door if you're a salon owner. And if you want more of that to build yourself into this big dream, you, know, you want to buy a nice house in a nice area, send your kids to a nice school, you've got to earn that money. And the only way you can earn that money is by getting more clients. There's no way any salon owner who'll be listening to this saying, I've got enough clients, I don't need any new ones, because that is not, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be sorry you said that, and trust me, you are, will be on decline before you know it. You need fresh blood in there, you know. You, no one can ever rest on their morals. If you're not growing, you're dying. So we need to get as many clients as we can and have the power to turn that on tap anytime we want to. Now, in this day and age, the big boys, the big salons or the, or the, you know, the Coca-Colas or whatever you want to say, they can afford to spend a lot of money. They can splash it out there and get their message out as far as they can. The problem is that most people are just shutting off from these adverts. So you've got to be really quite clever. You've got to have the right tools to be able to do this. So you need to spend as little money as possible attracting that one client and then winning that client over, giving them all the love that your salon can give them, woo them and make them come back. You know, that's part of your, your systems that we call OXO. There's part of your systems in there. And then once you have them, you then attract more and you get busier and then you employ more staff and then the way it goes. If you know how to attract new clients and you lose a staff member, it's very easy to turn that tap on when you've got a new staff member and fill it up again. We talked about that yesterday. So, no matter what, I can't think of anything more important than clients that sustains your lifestyle that you have now or the lifestyle that you're dreaming of or you want. Clients is the number one. It's not staff. Without, without clients, you don't need staff. You know, If you've got too many clients, you get staff or train staff, but clients is it. It's the biggest thing, and I've been trying to figure out, is there anything else? So if you can think of anything else that sustains your lifestyle, what you've got now, then please let me know. Because to me, clients starts with a client, it sustains with a client, and it ends with a client. Your salon future relies on this. And that's a fact. Your salon's future relies on how you can start, sustain, and end with how you can attract and keep because there's no point there's no point in having I've talked about this many times before there's no point in having this big bucket with all these holes in you just chuck all the clients in you know that's junk but what you actually need is to have good systems do some good work and then know that when a client comes in no matter how you get them if you have to discount them or you have to wait and get them in organically when they actually come into the salon you know you've got a good chance of saving at least 50% or even 70% I don't know what standard you're at but to me, that's the key. So that was a bit of a, a long thing. I, I just thought I'd, I'd do it. It's sort of my eye salon coaching question today because of the, the fact that I had two phone calls of two people, very, very similar um, problem that they were having or, or uh, what they were trying to decide what their dream was and what was the most important thing that works towards that. Now, just imagine this is your dream. And we're going to do a terrible drawing here. Um, it's definitely a terrible drawing. Look at that. That's, a, that's supposed to be a, a fancy car, if you say it is. Let's say you want a nice fancy car or you get a car. If you point everything you possibly can towards that, which means you spend effort and time pushing towards getting the income high enough to pay yourself a bigger wage to get that, then you know that you're going to get that, which is pretty easy, which you have the power to, to realize what your dream is and get it. Most people who work don't have that power. They've got to save years and years and years. You have this power. So 
when you can know you can attract as many clients as you want through here and the more clients you attract the more money that you get and the more money that you get the more chance you can get to your dream because everything costs money and I'm sure your dream costs money to get even if you want time off and go and help people it, it, it's the way it seems to be this day and age we need more money for that and everything starts sustained and ends with clients hope you've enjoyed it and if you want to hear about my course just send me a message um, I have a course it's gone live now so which is really quite good we've got people actually on the course um, and they're actually going to um, start attracting clients as we speak now which is awesome and uh, the good thing is is this course that I've built uh, it's a six-week course that's, that's geared up really to try and get these salon owners in control of really driving this client pipeline of as many clients that they actually want to do to fill their salon. You imagine if your salon was full. That's what we're trying to do here at our salon coaching. We're trying to give you the power to, to be able to turn that tap on and get your salon busy, which no more specials, etc. etc. I mean, I'm, I'm not here to push you too much through there. There you go. Enough said. Thanks, guys.